Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, we're going to talk about factoring quadratics and how we can take a quadratic expression and factor it into product form. So here is the process that we want to use in order to factor quadratics. We call this method box and diamond. And what we're going to use is we're going to have a generic rectangle with a diamond problem and if we use both of these tools into one process it'll help us factor this quadratic. So first things first is that we need to draw out our box or sometimes we refer to it as our generic rectangle. And then off to the side here I'm going to draw an X for my diamond problem. Now when we're doing these problems our X squared term Okay, the term in your expression that has the x squared, whatever that term is, that needs to go into the bottom left corner of your generic rectangle. Okay, if this was a 3x squared, we'd write the 3x squared. If this was a negative x squared, we'd write the negative x squared. Whatever this term is here, it needs to go down here in the bottom left corner. Now, directly opposite, okay, the diagonal opposite up here, the top right, what we're going to put there is our constant term. It's the, the term in your expression that has no x on it. Okay, it's just the constant term. It's just the number. So I'm going to take this negative 32 and I'm going to write that in my top right corner. Okay, so, so far so good. We've just taken our left term and our right term. Our x squared, our constant term, it's now in our generic rectangle. Now, what we want to do is we want to now start to fill out this diamond problem because here's the issue is we have negative 4x left over, okay? And we know that these two boxes here in our box, in our generic rectangle, they need to add to make negative 4x. But the thing is, is that I don't know exactly what numbers to put here to add up to negative 4x. That's where this diamond problem comes into play, okay? We're gonna use this diamond problem to figure out what two terms in this generic rectangle can add up to negative 4x. Okay, so we take the negative 4x, that's going to go down here in the bottom of our diamond problem. What goes in the top up here is actually these two terms here, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight these. It's these two terms here, but when they're multiplied together. So I'm going to take my x squared, and I'm gonna multiply that by my negative 32. And that gives us a value of negative 32 x squared. So now is the point where we wanna use the diamond problem to figure out what these two terms on the side are going to be. Those two terms need to add up to negative 4x, but they also have to multiply to negative 32 x squared. So what you want to do is you want to get a factor chart out and you want to look at what are the factors of negative 32. And when you're looking at that factor chart for negative 32 and you see all the different factors, you also have to think about which of those factors add up to negative 4. So once you look through your factor chart, hopefully we find out that what multiplies to negative 32, one of the set of factors is negative 8x and negative, oop, not negative, and positive 4x. These two terms here, they multiply to negative 32x squared, but they also add to negative 4x. And this is just on a factor chart. So once you get to the step, you'll have to look up a factor chart for whatever this number is on the top. So now that I have these two factors, I go ahead and put that back into my generic rectangle, and it doesn't matter which spot you put it in, okay, just as long as they're both in the generic rectangle. And now is the time where we want to go ahead and fill out the sides of this generic rectangle, which is really the factors of this expression. So what multiplies to x squared? Well, that is x and x. And now we need to do a little math. x times what? gives me negative 8x and the answer is negative 8 and x times what gives me positive 4x well that would be a positive 4 these two 
factors on the side. I'm going to highlight in a different color. This factor and this factor on this side, those are your factors. Okay, those are the two factors that make up this expression. So we've solved the problem. All I have to do now is just write equals, and it equals, and again, it doesn't matter which order you put it in, but it equals x minus 8, close that factor, start my new factor, x plus 4. And that is our final answer. I'll go ahead and highlight this in a different color so we can see. We took our sum and we ended up getting a product. Okay, and just to recap, this part on the left side, we refer to this as the sum. Since these two terms are multiplying each other, we refer to this as our product. All you have to do for these problems is to use the box and diamond method. All right, guys, I hope that was a little helpful for you. And in the next video, I'm going to tackle another problem that's a little more complicated than this one. All right, guys, see you next time.